The way we create and consume video content is about to change forever. Meta just dropped a bombshell with their new AI video generator. It's called MovieGen and it is extremely impressive. Not only can it generate high quality video, but it is also generating sound to go with it. Now I'm gonna do a deep dive with you on everything that they just announced. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the video and to the page if you find any of this useful and helpful and just really want to make my day. We woke up this morning to Zuckerberg who sent out an Instagram video of him working out using his new model. Check this out. Now that looks a lot like Runway's new video to video model from the looks of it. Now let's start with the basics. MovieGen can create high quality coherent videos from text prompts, existing images, or even other videos, just like Runway. But here's where it gets crazy. So MovieGen doesn't just generate random clips. It actually understands complex concepts like motion, time, casualty. So Meta's researchers didn't just build a simple video generator. They created what they call a media foundation model. These are like Swiss Army knives, versatile tools that can handle multiple tasks across different types of media. Okay, so MovieGen is built on three pillars, a text to image model, a text to video model, and an image to video model, as well as the video to video. Let's start out with a text to video model. Check this out. Yeah, so right here you'll see the text input was a girl is running across a beach and holding a kite. She's wearing jean shorts and a yellow t-shirt. The sun is shining. That is all that was put in here, right? A woman is sitting on the grass of a pumpkin patch. She's wearing a scarf and holding a cup. The background is filled with rows of pumpkins. Now, and she used uh, an image right here to drive the video. Right here. Thunder cracks loudly with an orchestra music track. Yeah, so if you look at the text, so that just kind of shows you the entire background of what they're doing, but let's just dive in bit by bit. So with the text, uh, if you're gonna generate text to videos, you're gonna go right here, take a look. The, all that was put into this was a fluffy koala bear surfs. It has a gray and white cool coat and a round nose. The surfboard is yellow. Uh, the koala bear is holding onto the surfboard with its paws. The koala bear's facial expression is focused. The sun is shining. That is exactly what it casts. You're never gonna get this video. You're not gonna get it. And the amount of time it would take a VFX artist to make this, Unreal. Okay, a ghost in a white bedsheet faces a mirror. The ghost reflection can be seen in the mirror. The ghost reflection, uh, uh, the ghost is in a dusty attic filled with old beams, cloth covered furniture. The attic is reflected in a mirror. The light is cool and natural. The ghost dances in front of the mirror. You see, um, the reflection is there. I, this looks like I could have shot it. There are shadows on the wall right here. That's dang impressive. Um, look at this. Uh, a red-faced monkey with white fur is bathing in a natural hot spring. The monkey is playing in the water with a miniature sail ship in front of it, made of wood and a white sail and a small rudder. The hot spring is surrounded by lush greenery. I mean... I... A sloth with pink sunglasses lays on a donut that is in a pool. Uh, the sloth is holding a tropical drink that would be tropical. The sunlight casts a shadow. This is incredible. Look, there is literally a shadow because they said that they wanted one. So a lot of these are ideas of what we've already been seeing a lot of so far. Now this is really cool. You can actually take a video and edit what is inside the video. Uh, let's just come down here for a second. Um, See, what they're saying is you can transform existing videos with text inputs. Movie Gen enables precise video editing from styles and transitions to fine grained edits. Okay, in this first one, it says, look, this is the original one. The text input um, wants to put the poodle in a pink jumper right there. Um, now this is uh, right here, it says text wants to change the color of the poodle to blue. And then you have them gnawing on the stick. 
Uh, now you change the background in this one, uh, that was just the location. And if you think about what is being used here, it's Sam, the segment anything model that Meta has also come out with. So now you're seeing what the progression of all these tools are coming out with, right? This is the original video. This is to put 3D glasses on the, on the people. Uh, this one right here, down here, it's adding pouring rain. Um, there's no sound on this. You can't add sound. Great. Take a look right here. Um, this is the original video. In this video, they put dresses. This video, they changed the style to kind of like this sketchy black and white. In this, in this one right here, they added umbrellas. This is incredible. Uh, right here, they changed the runner into a dinosaur. He, right in this one, he's holding blue pom-poms. This is unreal. What this is going to be able to do for filmmakers, creators, anyone is just unreal. And this is some of the stuff that Adobe Premiere had shown a long time ago in Firefly, but I, I just, I'm, I'm guessing it wasn't in Firefly because they haven't actually completely figured it out yet, but it looks like they figured it out. Uh, you can add or replace elements, change the background to any style. It will just generate that original content of the whole video only, right? Just changing the pixels that you wanted to change in it. Not like in Runway where you want to change something and, and everything kind of changes slightly. Or all of these other things, you just don't know what completely you're going to get. It looks like Meta is really focusing on uh, not being that sort of model, which is pretty incredible. Now, this gives you so much more control, unlike a lot of the other platforms that are, are there. Now, you pair this with like their meta glasses, and now we're getting into the world building aspect. Because imagine if you just if you just view what you're seeing at the world like a video, and you want to add a waterfall over there or a dinosaur. So if you want something in your video gone, MovieGen can also remove objects or people from videos and they could fill the gaps seamlessly. It's like Photoshop for video, but automated and way, way more advanced. It is what Adobe has been talking about adding into Firefly. It's also in the Google Pixel where you're removing images and whatnot. But to do this in video, it requires a lot of rotoscoping. Again, going back to the segment anything model that they have also come up with, which is going to just push all of these boundaries. Now, they also talk about personalized video where you can input a person's image and combine it with a text prompt to generate a video that contains the reference of that person but in the video. Now this is similar to what you can do in mid-journey with character reference but with video. Now check this out. Uh, you come down here is uh, you look right here and this is the image that they gave. It says a man is doing a scientific experiment in a lab with rainbow wallpaper. The man has a serious expression and is wearing glasses. He is wearing a white lab coat with a pen in the pocket. The man pours liquid into a glass beaker and a cloud of white smoke booms. That's exactly what it is. And that is him doing it. Unreal. This one says a woman paints a canvas on an easel in a wood paneled room. The woman is wearing a white shirt. She has a calm expression as she concentrates on her work. A baby bear cub stands at her feet. The lighting is cool. I mean, you just have to be so descriptive as to what you want. This is unreal. Make a cute selfie video of a man and his dog. The man is wearing a black shirt. The dog is a beagle puppy. The background is a backyard patio filled with trees. The man has a big smile on his face. As he tries to take the perfect selfie with his dog, the lighting is warm. Let's do one more. Um, a man in the desert wearing a wide brimmed hat, a brown coat, and a scarf. The man holds a glass of amber colored tea. The camera pans from the desert scenery to a person. The lighting is warm with the sun casting a gentle glow on the scene. Now, the interesting thing here is, is uh, you could take this video potentially and you can then uh, add lip syncing to it, right? So um, that is pretty incredible. Um, they are also bringing everything together, allowing you to even get full sound and music to enhance your videos. Now, most of these places are not able to actually generate the video and the sound at once, but take a look at this. So this right here, uh, the input was rain pours against the cliff and the person with music playing in the background. Okay, 
Now, this says uh, rustling leaves and snapping twigs with an orchestral music track. Here's a snake. That's cool. Now, this one says ATV engine roars and accelerates with guitar music. Incredible. Uh, one more. Let's just try wheel spinning and slamming. Okay, this is so cool. Now, on one hand, Movie Gen is democratizing video creation. Uh, anyone with an idea can bring it to life without really needing any expensive equipment or years of training. But here's the flip side. As AI-generated content becomes more prevalent and indistinguishable from reality, we're entering an uncharted ethical territory. Meta's working on built-in watermarking to help identify AI-generated content, but it's complex. Not only is it complex from the point of view of challenging what is real and what isn't, but this is an entire industry of livelihoods and careers built on doing these these things and this sort of work. Now, you can't really ignore what the implications are for those people going forward as well. Meta's not stopping there either. They're already working on improving the quality and the resolution of the generated videos. They're extending video durations and enhancing controllability for more precise outputs. We're now getting into a territory where full length movies could be generated from a script or where a video game can, can have cut scenes that are created in real time based on the player or based on the player's actions and maybe even putting the player inside what they are watching, right? Could you imagine if you were in the cut scene just because you uploaded a photo at the beginning of the game? This isn't just a cool new toy. Uh, it's a glimpse into the future of media creation. It's set to redefine creativity, redefine entertainment, and maybe even our perception of reality. Now, it's not going to be available until 2025 uh, for the Instagram users, but you can bet people are going to start using this. Meta keeps open sourcing everything, so, so this will probably be open sourced, and people are going to use this to create on top of it. Are we ready for a world where any video imaginable can be created with just a few words? The AI, uh, the age of AI generated video is here and Movie Gen is going to be a huge, huge player. I'm excited to see what Mid Journey comes up with because Mid Journey's got all of these images down. Now when they add video, that'll be really interesting. Again, when you pair this and everything else that Meta is doing, we are going to be in for an absolutely wild 